So this session will cover data loading for assets. So I'm in the Getting Started Start Center and in the Data Center Portlet, there's a link to my asset application. So this load loading process is basically creating assets in Maximo. Putting assets in Maximo allows you to track the history of the asset, where it's been moved to, it's, it's, if its status has changed, it gives you information about spare parts, purchase history if you choose to enter that. You can also associate meters to an asset and collect meter readings if that's appropriate for the type of assets you have. So to data load assets, I'll jump to the spreadsheet that's provided on the wiki. You can see the spreadsheet has one asset and I'll jump to the spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet has similar instructions as the other ones and a list of the columns here. Some of them are self-explanatory, the asset number and type. The type is a, there are defined asset types in Maximo, a list that can be added to. Your administrator can create additional types that you can then assign to your assets. There's a short and long description and installation date. Then there's also um, the item and location information. So if your asset is tied to a rotating item, you would identify the item in the site item set here. And likewise, if the asset is in a location, one of the operating locations you've created, uh, you would identify it as well. Keep in mind, if you're using those, then you need to load your data in the proper order. The assets can't be loaded before the item in location if it's making a reference to them. Beyond those fields, there's a priority field that is customer defined. There is um, purchase price and cost information, a serial number, and then the site and status. And there's some additional information below about the valid values for some of those fields. So if I jump back to my asset tab and I see the data, once I've filled out the spreadsheet and completed it, I would save the file as an Excel file, then I do a save as and do it as a CSV file. Once I have a CSV file, now I can go back to in the application, in the asset application, I can hit application import. I can browse from my asset CSV file, open it, and start the loading process. Okay, so here I purposely left an invalid field there just to give an example of an error. So this is the case where the location field I have on my asset data or asset spreadsheet is not valid. What I need to do is maintain that spreadsheet and set the location to be one that exists in the system. So I'm gonna close that out. I'm gonna jump back to Excel. I'm gonna open my asset file and here remember you want to open the Excel version of the file, not the CSV version, since I'm maintaining the data here. In my location, the one I, have, I know exists in the system, it's called new LOC1, new location 1. So I'm going to save it as an Excel file, save it as a CSV file. You place the prior version and now, now I'll jump back to my asset application and start an import again. Keep in mind whenever you do a load, if you have multiple records in your file and you hit an error, none of the data is saved. So if you had 10 records, 10 rows in your spreadsheet and you hit an error on the ninth row, the first eight rows are not processed and saved. None of them are saved. So you would correct the file and reload the entire file again. So this time it worked and my asset number 11, which was from my file, is created. Its status is operating. It's in new location one and I'm referencing rotating item 1001.